Knife attacks are a reality in today's society. Much of what is shown and trained today in the martial arts are being displayed in movies and TV series is for entertainment and show only. What I would like to do is address some of these today and hopefully give you a better understanding of what it takes to face a knife in the street. So one of the classical moves that you see in like martial arts videos or maybe even seen in your own training is this sort of tip, this like psycho scene, this all back, this overhand grip coming down at you. And that's not really something that actually happens in real life, which is why it's so easy or com convenient to defend against. Oftentimes what you see people going to defend against, they do that, they stay in the line of the attack, put their arms up, and if he just pulls the elbow down, he's still going to cut you. Okay, so that's definitely a no-no. Rule number one with any type of weapons attack is to move. Don't stay in the line of attack. So even if you was to do this attack, you come in, okay, and action on, like on stop him doing something. Stabs are oftentimes you know, inflicted like this, very short, close range in, and it might maybe even repetitive. The horror stories you see when people sort of show or demonstrate knife attacks, if someone was to, to, to stab you, are things like this. It's absolutely horrendous. You never ever grab a knife or grab a, in, in an arm that has a knife in it. He still has his life hand, which he can use to smack me here. I let go and I'm still dead. Okay, again, so he comes in with a stab, move off. And remember, put something in the way and continuously hit that person. Because some of the moves you've just seen are some typical things you might have seen in your own training or in a movie or on a TV show. Of course, they bear no resemblance to what a knife attack really is like, which is, which is nasty, which is fast, okay, and which can be over very, very quickly. Now, my advice would be for you to seek out a professional trained instructor who actually is training with weapons himself. That will give you a very real element that no course or DVD can give you, which is the fear, panic, and stress that it will experience during a knife attack. If you can't do that, my advice for you would be to either run for the hills or just put anything between you and the weapon to stay alive.